the invisibility I find is has the ability to be polarizing because it is inherently frustrating to not be able to know what's hitting you. And it's inherently frustrating to not be able to like, I, you, you told me it was in this room and now I'm being stabbed by something and there wasn't anything in the room when we entered it. So it's like, how was I supposed to know there was an invisible creature here? There are frustrations with that. This is some, some kind of countermeasure to it at least, but yeah, there's that. Uh, I mean, I don't mind being stabbed when I walk into a room I thought was empty. This is Dungeons and Dragons. That's supposed to happen. Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns of Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the spell Fairy Fire. But they're fairies. Like, like a wings, I guess? <laughs> well, I think more importantly, you're glowing. That's the actual important text. This is a first level spell for Artificers, Bards, Druids. It's got an action cast time, 60 foot range, verbal components only, a concentration up to a minute each Object in a 20-foot cube within range is outlined in blue, green, or violet light. Your choice. Any creature in the area when the spell is cast also outlined in the light if it fails a dexterity saving throw. For the duration, objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a 10-foot radius. Any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it and if the affected creature or object can't benefit from being invisible. And the affected creature can't benefit yes. from being invisible. Yeah, Which is the text that, that, if that be, all uh, of the things that deny invisibility entirely. should say. Yes. Okay, um, so let me let me clear something up here. Mm -hmm. Any creature in the area when the effect when the spell is cast is also outlined in the light if it fails a dexterity saving throw. Yes. Now, what if they're outside of the spell's range and they move into it? When the spell is cast, this is an right. instantaneous burst effect that lasts oh. the duration. Is oh, a way crap. to think about it. All right, all right, all You're going to put this you. down, things are going to ignite, and then while you concentrate on it, the light remains on the affected creatures, not on the space. So any ah. creature in the area when the spell is cast is outlined in the light, for the duration, the effects happen to it. Nothing happens if it enters the space. Nothing happens. There's not like an aura there that is pers right, persisting right. and getting the save over and over again. Okay, it is I was instantaneous on misreading cast. this entirely. This is, a, this is a lot worse than I thought it was. I'm not particularly high on fairy fire, but it's also, like, fine. This is a kind of effect that I consider a, maybe marginally better than Bane. Like, they're close. I like that this empowers characters that have multi-attacks. They all get an advantage. The more attacks, the more advantage. That kind of thing, right? Yeah. Um, I like this on bards, particularly, because bards are the support of casters. So you can throw down a fairy fire when you don't have great damaging options to support. And that kind of gives your team a lot more damage, because they get advantage of those attack rolls all of a sudden. That's kind of meaningful. Um, if it hits three creatures, you're really happy. If it hits two creatures, it's like, eh. If it hits one creature, you probably should be casting something else. Um, that's where I largely fall with this thing. Okay, so, yeah, all right. I wasn't even considering it for what it's actually for. I was thinking about all sorts of other ridiculous uses. But there is also, I mean, there's also invisible creatures. If you cast, if you, if you were pretty certain there's somebody invisible around, you cast this. They start glowing if they fail, right? Yeah. You know their space, cool. so you just, like, throw a fairy fire on them, pray they save, fail the dex save, they pass the dex save, nothing happens. But if yeah. they fail the dex save, they no longer benefit from being invisible, which is very meaningful. And, yeah, maybe they had some invisible friends you didn't even know about. True. I do really love that if they're going to make silver bullet effects, like see invisibility, do them like this, because this always does something, and also is good against invisible creatures. Yeah. Why would I ever put in see invisibility on my shoe when I'm writing fairy fire? That seems like a lot more meaningful because it you could it doesn't benefit from being invisible anymore. That's that's really cool. I like that element of the text. That niche little upside does make it so you will have moments where the bar will be like, oh, I know where it is. Fairy fire it, and then the horror party goes, eh, hey, you did it. We can see the invisible stalker now, and we kick its butt. Right? That's a nice little upside that takes the spell and puts it on a, a slightly higher notch than I would otherwise rate it. I I also like that because you know by the time you're fighting a. By the time invisibility is becoming an issue for you, and uh, you know you're getting attacked by invisible things a lot, yeah, this is a level one spell. It's going to be a lot cheaper to cast. It invisibility I find is has the ability to be polarizing because it is inherently frustrating to not be able to know what's hitting you, and it's inherently frustrating to not be able to like I you you told me it was in this room, and now I'm being stabbed by something, and there wasn't anything in the room when we entered it, so it's like how was I supposed to know there was an invisible creature here? There are frustrations with that. This is some, some kind of countermeasure to it, at least. But Yeah, there's that. Uh, I, mean, I don't mind being stabbed when I walk into 
a room I thought was empty. This is Dungeons and Dragons. That's supposed to happen. I like whenever there's coherent counter, like cohesive and uh, telegraphed counterplay. That's so the kind of games that I tend to enjoy. I don't love the, uh, you open the door, what could happen? Oh, boom, everyone's dead. Ah, well, I'll try again next week. Like, that's not really for me. I get that there's some element of like loot box excitement to be like anything could be behind here, anything could happen. I just don't find it. I don't find that level of. Uh, I think boom, everyone is dead is a little bit of a, you know, exaggeration. That uh, I wouldn't enjoy that either. I don't understand why you would enjoy. We sneak into this open room in this dungeon. I'm going around searching, and all of a sudden, I feel a knife plunge into my back. Like, well, my character's what? not going to enjoy that, but uh, you know, it's a surprise. Yeah, you take like. At the, in the low tiers, you take a huge chunk of damage and are... The, not the point of this video. No, Fairy Fire is good. also a a fine little tool that I think you will often be fine enough having on your character sheet. I don't think you'll ever need it, but it does a supportive thing in a supportive way. I think it bards of druids. It is a highly reasonable 3 out of 5. Like It's not going to reshape how anyone does any encounters, but sometimes you'll appreciate the advantage, especially in the low tiers. 3 out of 5 sounds right. Um, Also, um. It's one of those rare verbal only component spells, which is neat. Uh, I'd like spells with different effects to have that, but uh, yeah, I guess if you're uh, tied to a table or something and uh, knowing invisible creatures are around, it's beneficial to you somehow, then that's good. It means <laughs> if, like, the bar in particular gets captured. They can still contribute to the fight while they're tied to like, you know, a mass on a ship or something. That's kind yeah. of fun. It's almost never going to come up, but yeah. you know, if it does, it's a cute moment to have. I do like what I do like spells that only have verbal components, having that niche upside. Good point. Good. To, good of you to point it out. Thank you. All right. Yeah. But still not enough to bump it higher than three. It's a good spell. It's, it's all right. All right, well, that was Fairy Fire. Let us know your opinions down in the comments below. And uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Sam. And uh, we'll see you next time. Like, subscribe. Yes. Bye.